Hello again, it's me, Milton, Little Milton Channel. So why is Makita Gold not quite as gold? Okay then, to start off with, not too impressed with the overall case, although I have solved the problem here with this bit falling down. Doesn't seem to want to fall down now. You've actually got to push it down. Don't know what harm it sorted itself out. But the case itself is pretty rubbish to be honest with you. Now, the next problem is trying to get some of these bits in and out, right? Okay, they are a pain in the backside to get in and out, I must admit. Now, why am I taking them all out? You'll see. No, wait a minute, my fault. Right? Because I'm going to show you something. Because I've also been complaints about putting the bits back in as well. I'll get round to that. Right, are you coming out? Yeah. Right, come on. Right. Now, to start off with, another problem I found with them. This bit here. When I was using this self threading or self tapping screw here, I was using this one here. Right? See how it wobbles? I'll just pull like that. Wobbles about. Right? And I couldn't get it to go down right. I had to actually go down into an, an original hole that was there, which was a bit smaller. And the problem is, is this bit here with the magnet on it. So really and truly what I should have done was, I should have used this bit. Look. Still wobbles a bit, but not as much. Right? An action replay on that one, just to prove it. Nice magnet actually that on it, I have to admit. Right? It actually pushes it forward a little bit. And because the heads on these are slightly, I think, caved, concaved in. Slightly, are they? I can't really tell. But anyway... It moves it up and it lets it wobble, you see? So, I mean, to be honest with you, nice idea having the magnet in there. It might work better for standard bolts or standard nuts, to be honest with you, but it doesn't really work with these things here, right? So you might be better off using that one. Right, so I've pulled them all out. Oh, this thing here, no real problems with it. It works fine, right, to be honest. I mean, there isn't actually in this, is it not wearing this one? No, they're not actually. Could do a bit. We got a bit line here. I'll just try this bit here. No, I must admit, no problem straight. Because we've got this one here, you see, and we've never really had problems. Although this one, where is it? Does this one take it? Yeah, this one here. No, it won't. It won't take it. Right. Anyway, we'll leave that alone. Let's move on quickly. Right. So we've done this. So what's the problem about putting things back in? I must admit, the 25 bits can be a bit of a problem, but they're not too bad once you sort of say me learn how to start getting them ripped out and everything. You can do it. It's not too bad. It's just a bit of a technique to that, like, which is just pull it up when you put it back in. Just make sure that you're on there and if they do push into place. I must admit, I just suffer from rain after if my fingers get cold, it can be a bit of a problem. But these are a real pain to get out. And some of these sometimes can be a pain as well. But we'll get round to that. So what's the, what is the problem putting them back? I'm going to show you now, okay? Okay then, one of the problems we're getting are putting the bits in. If you look there, and there, and there, and there, there's these bits that stick out. What we're doing is, we're doing it wrong. If we put them in like so, like this, right, the way, they actually clip in no problem at all, right? And that's what we're doing wrong. We're not pushing them in there first. In other words, we're not pushing them in at a diagonal like this first. You see, I'm sliding up there. Oh, that's still on camera, see, like so. And they actually clip in no problem at all. And that's what we're doing wrong. You see? Although I will admit this bit here can be a bit of a pain in the backside to put in. Of course it is. There we are, it's in. And that's what we're doing wrong. We're not putting them in at the actual angle. I'll just show you again on this one. Right? If you put them in like that first, at that angle, then push it down like that. They go in, no problem. Okay then? That's how easy it is. Oh yeah, I made a statement about the about it was actually more about these bits here right about the fact is that some of these makita bits are as good as way and i'm or where and i'm not joking these are 
these uh, 25 mil bits here they do go on for some time I must admit these are PZ twos here and you can get them in ph2 as well they are very very good and long lasting there's our one that's went on for i don't know how many screws it's done it has done loads we've given up trying to count up how many it's done it done a lot there have been complaints about makita gold breaking fine i admit this is totally possible problem i've looked down on some of the lists right and some of my mates have they came to the conclusion, well, okay, so Makita Gold bits do break. And then just sort of the others as well, for the other companies. The problem is, they're not listing, right, the actual, what size is actually breaking. Now, there was a live broadcast. Uh, VCG construction, it was. And it was completely and utterly live. They had a T20. Just prior to this, he was about to say something about Makita Gold. And got interrupted and didn't say anything. Shortly after that, they broke one completely and utterly out on live, as I say. And I thought to myself, I thought I knew this, but unfortunately, my first video was ready to go up anyway. And I thought, well, okay, so I left a little comment in the comment box underneath saying that I was a bit suspect. And I even said in the video I was a bit suspect because my son has a kit like this as well. And uh, he was using the T20 and he kept coming out. With these turbo twos here and it kept slipping out and what we noticed was i'll show you what we actually did to actually have a look at this ah, get down you there's a bit of wood right we did a weeble wobble test as we call it right put them in like this right and the weeble wobbled it about and yeah i must admit it's quite loose so maybe this is what was causing the problem right so we thought well that's a turbo two bit that's a sparks bit, right? Oh my god, it's even worse than the sparks. Let's try bigger sparks then. Hmm, fair enough, like, yeah. You gotta say, is it just this bit? Well, no, we tried different brands for different companies, like Bosch, Milwaukee. This is the new Flex Torque for DeWalt. And as you can see, it's not too bad, it's wobbling as well. You see? See, it's, that's definitely worse. Okay then. Let's try their T20 on the 65 mil of this double ended. Watch what happens. Ah, right. Aye. Now we start to form a picture. Not finished yet. Turbo 2's screws in this country actually do come with a free bit. And this is a free bit. And I think we figured out that the Turbo 2 bit was actually worse than what the T20 was for Makita, the small 25mm one. Or half inch, I suppose, if you're an American. Right, basically speaking, they are crap, they are garbage, there's no excuse for it. These are just breaking because the fact is they are. There's some of the other companies, we've been using these for ages, this has been used in a long time. We don't really use the Makita ones because generally we use these ones because they're free. Well, it don't matter if we break them. In fact, these don't really break. For cheapness, they outdo the Makita Gold. Hence why, not quite as gold. They're not quite the gold standard, I suppose you could say. So really and truly are disappointing. But are the others any good, right? Well, we did have a quick look at them and a quick play with them, right? Using Turbo 2s, right? Because if you get a, a 6x50, they go up to T30s. And we did try some of the 25mm ones out. Really and truly, they all wobble and wobble, wobble about as well. So really, if they're breaking, it's down to the fact is, and I wouldn't say they would be overly hard at the time, uh, these guys that actually broke when it broke on camera. And they were using a flex, ah, uh, not a flex torque bit, I'll get it back out again. They were using one of these, I think. It did have a torsion zone. So there was no excuse for it breaking. As far as I'm concerned, we were suspect years a year ago, right, about uh, Makita Gold T20s, and still suspect about it. I'm not very happy with them. So anyway, what next then? Okay then. The other thing was, and we've all been missing it, and yesterday I made a video, or maybe the other day, it depends when this one goes up, about Sparks screws, right? Something quite unique about them.
Right, after I could have cheated on that one and went, I'll pick them up. Just hang on a second. I'm going to pick them up. I could have cheated, right? And went like this. Yeah, but look, look what happens when you use this fax bit, right? Look, you get no wobble at all. Ah, uh, that's why I made that video the other day and put that one up first because he could have cheated on that one and made Makita Gold look absolutely rubbish. As I said, the Weeble Wobble as much as the Blinking Well rest of them, Fred Walt, Milwaukee, Bosch, there is no real difference. So anyway, we'll leave this. Right. Uh, right, on with the next bit. The next bit, the favourite bit. This lovely little magnet. As reviewers, or people that look into stuff and tell us you guys are about them, right? When we were like looking at sets like this here, one of the things we actually do is we concentrate on that particular brand. And we go on about, you know, get this one out, how good the magneticness is on the bits here. We're all guilty of it, right? But the one thing we forget to tell you is that sometimes some of this equipment works just as well right some of that's gotten magnetic i've been playing with this and some of these have gotten magnetic yeah look that just slipped on there nice let's uh we find a nice pz p pz2 there we go it fits on that's a milwaukee bit but does it work on all 25 mil bits or two inch bits well, let's have a look it worked with the Milwaukee. You seen that? Sparks. Because yesterday I said that on that video. I could really do with something magnetic to actually take this off. Oh, by the way, stainless steel. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Right? That's Sparks. So it even works with the Sparks bit as well. Okay then. Does it work with DeWalt? That's the old DeWalt Tosh. Uh, Tosh in his own bit. Keep losing this, right? Yeah, goes on after it works very well with the dwarfs, actually. I must admit. And this is something we forget. Hang on a minute, we've got something really cool here that actually works, right? And it could actually benefit you. Is it any better than some of the other screwdriver bit holders? Blinking versatile, I'll say that much. So it has to be good then. Is it brilliant? Well, who knows? Pray, uh. And innovation, 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 innovative, or something like that. Hey, well, I shouldn't use big words, right? And for a laugh, we've got a very old Stanley Fart Max, or it might even be a Piranha, right? And it should work with them as well. Oh, it's tight, but it went on. Actually, that's kind of why, because that is actually a PZ3. Uh, we've got a PZ3 bit lying about. Let's try it out. Are you PZ3? Nah, you're not quite a PZ3. We well, ain't got PZ3, but it would work with it anyway. It would work with it tight. So we definitely know it works with PH2 and PH... It worked, it worked with the 3, because I did get a 3 on there. So that was fine. Right, i got all these bits lying about everywhere now. So, ah, next on the list though. All about Flex Torque, because they've, they've got a longer uh, torsion zone on them now. Only by 5 mil, but roughly. Uh, well, we're going to work with them, with them flex stock bits. Try it out. Ooh. Got it sloppy, right enough, being a bit longer, but it'll hold there. Now, where's my screw going? This is what happens when you start throwing things around everywhere. I've, lost, I've actually lost my main screw now. Uh, there we go. But, ah, oh, there it is. I found it. Found my main screw. There it is. Yeah, it goes on, stays on. I've no way to done it, right? Can I look forward a bit? Mm, yeah, yeah, staying on. So there you are. You see? Now, oh, just one more thing. I found a little review on saber cut bits. One thing I didn't notice was, and these have an extra length on them. They're slightly longer in the flex talk zone. If you actually hold this up up against that and look at it, guess what? Yeah, it's got a longer flex stock zone on it as well. The, I reckon these saber cuts are going to last a long, long time. And not only that, here's the flex stock T20 actually. 
And I shouldn't really throw things about everywhere. God almighty, this magnet's strong, everything sticks to it. Right. And we got a T20, but we'll just pick up all the sparks. Another stainless steel screw. It still holds it, it takes it. So there you are. As I said, as reviewers, we sometimes do forget. Hang on a minute, some of these bits and pieces will work on other equipment. And I have to admit, there you go, this little magnet. You can buy it singly in Britain. Guess how much? I wouldn't pay sing th this price for it. Cheapest I looked it up at, about £11. And yet the Americans can get it for under $7. Notice I said $7, not £7. Right, so anyway, there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've cleared some things up for you like. So, anyway, my name is Milton, Charles Cod Little Milton. Subscribe if you want, thumbs up, thumbs down. And I'll see you the next time when, hopefully I'm not putting that chuck up, I'll try and think of another video to make. Okay then, bye now.